Good afternoon guys, welcome back. You join me up here at the allotment at Nick's Veggie Patch. I've come up today because I've got some things that I'm going to try uh, get planted out. Um, hopefully, fingers, cro fingers crossed. But I've also come up here to do weeding because some of my beds need weeding. Uh, I've been trying to do it. I've been really busy and other things have cropped up and it's kind of getting there so it's one of those jobs we all hate so i'm going to try and get as many raised beds done today as possible i haven't got many to be fair but the ones that i've got done the ones that i have got to do i'm going to try and get done so there's a lot to be getting on with i'll show you the first raised bed i've always already started and i'll come back to you guys in a minute Okay, so just to give you guys a bit of a reminder, most of the raised beds in this area, apart from obviously the strawberry beds, are done. So that's the two raised beds at the front there where you can see the uh, brownish sort of pot. They're kind of done. All my potato um, bins are all done. But as I swing around, it's the raised beds over here that need... Um, attending to um so while the weather's kind of still i'm in an hour and about what it's going to do and we're getting into spring i'm going to clear the raised beds while they're that short and what i'm going to do is i'll take you over guys and show you the first raised bed that i've done this afternoon um finished work early today so thought i'd come up um also come up in my capacity as allotment warden but these raised beds over here, guys, most of them in this little vicinity are all done. Uh, as you can see, my garlic is coming up. It's really doing well. Um, just here, I've got my purple sprouting uh, broccoli. It's coming to an end, but I'm going to pick it and hopefully we'll have a, another little harvest out of it. But yeah, I'm going to take you over, guys, show you the raised bed that I've started and hopefully show you the ones that I'm going to try and get done today. I will be up here tomorrow as well because no football. So I will be up the allotment tomorrow. But yeah, what I'll do is I'm going to put you all on pause now. And I'm going to take you over to the raised bed that I've just done. And show you the other raised beds that I am going to do. Right guys, I've brought you over to this raised bed here as you can see in front of me where my finger's pointing. This is the raised bed that I've just uh, completed. So I'm gonna go over with my uh, rake, just give it a bit of a rake out, even it all out. And then I'll be concentrating probably on these ones here because they're not too bad to clear. And then obviously there's um, a couple around about there that I'll also clear if I can and then tomorrow when I come up it will be concentrating on these three here because they are the kind of worst I've just let them get overgrown the grass has come up but yeah so the first ones I've started has been cleared and now I'm gonna try and work on these ones and when it's all or when I've done the area that I'm going to be working on come back to you guys and I'll show you the end product right guys that's bed number two done so done two beds now I'm going to concentrate on that one next followed by these two above the two that I've already done um, so what I'll do is when I've done all the ones I'm going to try and do today, I'll show you the end finish because I had my camera on pause. Um, but I'll show you the end finish once they're all done because I'm going to stop for five minutes, have a quick coffee and check a few things out in my shed. But yeah, first two raised beds done. As I said, I'll be up here tomorrow. 
but I am going to try and get another couple done and then think about going home but also try and um, get planted out the few bits I've brought up here to plant out um, they may go in these empty raised beds here right guys I've been back up the plot today finish off doing some more raised beds um, I've got another one done there and I've put a load of uh, manure down over on it um, I've done that one there and what I've also been doing is clearing some of the grass that's come up around the plot uh, I've put it on there for a moment because these are the next couple three or three I'm gonna do so gonna be doing that one there and I've uh, been clearing that as well obviously that one there used the bag of compost uh, manure sorry that's there um, it's got a bit of grass on it but and then I'm gonna do this one and then once those three are done that technically only leaves me uh, this one here that one there so about four of them so four left to do um, I've also given these two here a rake over um, what I've decided to do um, was I follow um, a bloke I follow a guy on YouTube called uh, Terry's Allotment Gardening he's really good uh, check him out if you haven't um, and he always sometimes looks at my videos and comments on them and one of the comments or one of uh, some advice he gave me was if I'm going to do a video was basically to keep it simple um, show people what I'm actually doing but also at the same time show them where I intend to start and then instead of kind of doing one say one thing and then stopping and doing a bit more video was basically to do the um, to carry on doing all of the job I was going to do and then to do the video so that's what I've that's what I've been doing I've been clearing the raised beds and then kind of updating you on what's going on so as I've said I've also cleared around this part this bit of pathway here just got a little bit to do there and I've also um, also sort of taken the grass that was kind of forming on the corners of my compost bin and as you can see I've got some lovely compost there and we're going to be digging some of that out and uh, putting it onto my raised beds um, but yeah with the jobs I've been doing obviously Friday and today really happy with what I've got done so far so it is as I've said only four uh, it's only once I've completed sorry these three raised beds here then there's only four left or f yeah four left to complete so these will probably be finished off tomorrow when I'm up here and then it'll be a case of uploading this video so yeah I'm gonna go home now guys crack on I'm gonna go home and uh, I'll come back up here tomorrow Okay guys, there we have it. I finished potting on all of my broad beans called the Sutton, all into their pots um, and the rest are in the other compost. Um, the other compost is okay. It's not great. Um, I did prefer the other compost. It was a lot more finer. 
Um, and I think it's going to, and I think it's obviously with the sand in it, help them on a little bit more. But for what I paid for these couple of bags of Groshaw, then yeah, okay, I'll give them a go. But um, yeah, as I said, I prefer peat-free compost. Uh, I wouldn't rate this one that great, but yeah. I finished these off guys there you go they're all potted on now right guys uh, welcome back yesterday I um, uploaded a video of me potting on seedlings in my greenhouse and if you remember I was potting on um, broad beans the only broad bean variety that I didn't get a chance to pot on was the variety called the Sutton so I am going to be potting that on now. Um, I'm going to use the last of the compost up that um, you can see just there. Uh, the fine uh, the fine grade stuff with the sand in it. And then once I'm done, I'm going on to um, Groshaw. This is seed and cutting compost. It's super fine grade. For 25% more germination and it's enhanced with plant extract so yeah I'm gonna be going on to that next I've put that into my container there so what I'll do I'll reposition, I'll reposition my camera and I'll get potting on the Sutton. I'll come back to you guys in a minute. So guys, I'm using some large pots uh, for these ones and I'm just gonna fill the pot all the way up to the top and I'm gonna stick basically one um, broad bean in there and then because these are um, basically you can plant these pots into straight into the ground and over so many months they will uh, degrade down and go turn into mush because they're cardboard so I've just uh, lost my little ah, here we go so I've got my little dabby here that I'm going to get my raw beans out with they're nice and healthy and I've made a hole just big enough for them to go inside well I thought it was big enough just widen it a little bit more <clears throat> I'm doing this now to stop them from going um, too leggy of course because um, obviously last year I had the issue of my broad beans going a bit too leggy so <clears throat> that's the first one I just give it a little bit of a spray with my spray to get the compost moist And then that's going to go on my top shelf um, where I've got my other raw beans um, carrying on. And I'll put all the rest up there with them. So what I'll do guys is I'll carry on potting these on and then I'll come back in a minute and show you the finished article. <clears throat> 